And if you're new to the channel, yes, I mingles around. Yes, I get I get active, little baby. I got hey y'all, what's poppin'? What is goody? What's up? It's your girl, the one and only Miss Glamazante. Period. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, so I'm back with my camera. I'm back with the um, the mic and stuff. Y'all really, really like this, so I'm very, very happy about that because I was really wondering what y'all gonna, what y'all was feeling about it, but I'm really happy. And um, also, I know a lot of you guys was asking me questions about my setup and stuff now and the camera I'm using and things. So I will be trying to do a little video for y'all so y'all can have all that information and stuff on hand. Um, nonetheless, I'm about to go ahead and do me a little chit chat get ready with me um i'm supposed to be going out today meeting with my miss girl arnell so chill i got a lot of stuff coming up and i need to be beat and also i got a new wig honey so today i'm going to be doing hair i'm going to be doing makeup hair outfit and perfume so definitely stay tuned i'm looking at my eyebrow it look like one is higher but low-key it is one higher because my eyebrows is always like this so that's why i said never um, and I got some topics I want to talk about. Also, y'all need to comment below some topics y'all want to talk about. And please, in the comments, feel free to kiki with me because I don't want to kiki by myself. And we're going to talk some shit out. The body is coming through. I've been working out, child. When I say working out, I've been working out, working out. And it's really been paying off. Like, at first, I did not know it was going to be working out like that. But, baby, it was, it's was. it been working out for me. So, <laughs> I love working out now, to be honest. My Jivon, she... This is the foundation I've been working. Like I said, I've been using all new products and stuff. So this is the foundation I've been working. But the thing about it, I noticed is you don't need as much product. Sometimes I overuse it because I'm so used to medium to light coverage. So I'll be having to build it up. Well, with this, you really don't have to build it up. So you guys see it's taking right over. But nonetheless, oh my gosh, as I always, how y'all been? Because I know with me, girl, I've been going through the most. Like, Literally, it's been so much going on, and I feel like I've just been taking it in stride. And I don't know if a lot of you guys are spiritual, but y'all know I am. So right now, I believe that the moon is in Libra. You guys know that I am a Libra. Um, so it's all about relationships right now and balance and all kinds of stuff. So I think with me, I've just been trying to figure out and maintain and make sure I'm doing the right things properly to get me where I need to be at and where I'm satisfied with working at. So, you know, that's a whole thing. But nonetheless, your girl is pushing through. I'm not holding back and doing I'm like, you know, I ain't on my chill shit. I'm on my working shit right now. I'm trying to move all this other way. And I know I'm going to get makeup on it, but I don't even care because I really don't even have to go up this high. I promise y'all, when I wear bangs, it's like my makeup. I be putting in effort, but shoot, it don't be like when I really don't have nothing going on. You know what I mean? So, oh, I want to talk about boundaries. So something with me is I have been setting boundaries with myself and I promise y'all like, it's so crazy. Like, I think now that I have boundaries of things that I'm willing to do and don't want to do, I realize now just how much I did not have boundaries at one point in time. And with me not having any boundaries, like, no wonder I always felt some type of way or it was always an imbalance with me and a partner or just a friendship or just a family member because I was always, I thought I was doing things that I wanted to do, but in reality, I guess that I was really just doing things because those people wanted me to do them or I was stepping outside of myself because I wanted to have that person not mad or upset or unhappy so like it's crazy you would think that you are abiding by your boundaries because like for example you meet with a new female and she's trying to have sex and you be like no like that's a boundary clearly but it doesn't have to be that extreme for a boundary to still be set and with me when it was extreme stuff or stuff that didn't seem like it was that big of a deal I would set those boundaries but with the little stuff, I wasn't setting any boundaries. And that's where the problem began. Um, right now, I'm going to be using my Ultra Creamy Tarte um, Shape Tape. I've been loving this. It's just been giving me really good coverage. Um, but I think that also I've been getting a little bit lighter. So it's not making it as highlighted as I would like it to be. So I do find myself letting it sit 
to be honest, because I'd be like, girl, I want it to be given like, you know, I put myself in this place of thinking because it's ex if it was extreme things, then I was setting good boundaries, but I wasn't setting good boundaries with the stuff that was occurring. So for example, um, I don't know why this one keeps coming to the top of my head, but like if somebody wanted to call me um, something out my name, like before, like if they'd be like, let's say I'm talking to somebody or dating somebody and give or take, I know y'all gonna be like, girl, this is really extreme. Um, but in the heat of a moment, if you're dating somebody and talking to somebody and they'd be like, bitch, get out my face. Mind you, I call people that too, but I feel like at the same point, it's like a different way you're saying it. Some people I respect it and they be like, okay, well, you know, just don't use the word at all. I don't, I mean, I use it with my homegirls, but I don't mean it in a derogatory way. But I feel like if I'm dating somebody and they said to me, like, ho, hold up, what you talking about? So with me and my boundaries is, for example, if I'm talking to somebody or dating somebody, because I think I told y'all about this. If you're not following my vlog channel, y'all need to. I don't know if I told y'all over here, but I was talking to somebody and kind of like dating them and they started yelling at me. And mind you, we dating, like it ain't deep. So it's no reason you should be yelling at me at all. Like any type of controversy, we should be able to talk it out. And if we gonna talk it out, we gonna be able to talk it out civilized because I ain't doing that no more. I'm not yelling, I'm not arguing, I'm not doing none of that stuff. So with them, I feel like the old me would have been like, oh, they're mad. So that's why they was yelling and talking like that and said this. She didn't call me a bitch while we was yelling. She just was like, real like uh like I didn't like it and with me a boundary was like okay I'm gonna cut you off because first off we've been talking too long for me to not see this side of you and now I've seen this side of you and I don't like it because in the heat of the moment I still want to be respected so with me I had to know that that was me setting a boundary like yeah it wasn't to the extreme where she actually did call me a bitch and I had to like you know move my move myself but it was extreme enough where it's like why are you yelling at me and fussing me out um I don't like this you know so that was a boundary I ended up having to be set and then another boundary was that if me and somebody okay so for example if me and somebody is having like a little disagreement or whatnot give or take we're having a disagreement but at the same time it's like if I communicated with you and you communicate with me and then we just not talking and it's not aligning and it okay how do I break this down so the type of person I was like if we would have a conversation about it you would say your piece I would say my piece and then you know how sometimes when the conversation is over you and a person come to a common um, ground of like how to move forward from it or sometimes y'all had a conversation and then y'all still kind of got some smoke in the air so y'all don't really go into it anymore and it's just kind of left unsaid but y'all did have a conversation but I guess the conversation didn't leave either party feeling the best about the conversation you know what I mean and I had one I've had two of those in the last two weeks it was like a conversation that I spoke with someone about something and they spoke to me about it and then either one of us never left off on a good note so it was like at that point it was like the conversation just moved forward in a sense so um with those kinds of things hold on i'm trying to with the old me if we left the conversation off and nobody felt like and we still wasn't talking i would take it upon myself to reach back out and be like Okay, so I feel like we both need to talk about this. We're level-headed. We need to clear each other. We need to do this. We need to talk some more. Clearly, we talked about it, but it wasn't good enough to get us back where we was. I was that type of person because I just love to talk. I love to communicate. I love to be on the same page. And I really don't like weirdness between me and people. You know what I mean? Like, that's the type of person I was. And in these last couple weeks, when me and people have had fallen outs, I have not wanted to do that. <laughs> and it's because I feel like to me, it's too much like I'm trying to make sure you good, but who making sure that I'm the fuck good? <laughs> like if I'm gonna be honest, and I don't like that. Like to me, it's like after a while of you checking on a person, making sure they good and making sure they okay, it's like when do a person return that energy of okay it was left in a weird misshaped misshift 
place. So where is the part of, okay, like I really value this friendship. I really value this relationship. Yeah, I really value this person enough where I'm going to reach back out to them. I'm not doing it no more, but I've lost some people along the way. And I noticed that this happened during my self-love journey. And I was talking to my therapist and he was asking me, he was like, do you feel like you not reaching out and not overextending yourself is a portion of self-love? And I said, I do. I genuinely do. I feel like it's a portion of self-control. I feel like it's a piece of self-love that I never had for myself because to me, it's like I value myself enough to not want to keep reaching out or trying to make sure this situation is good if you feel like that you don't want if you feel like you want to leave it where it's at then i'ma feel like i'ma leave it where it's at too but see it comes a problem because you have to make sure you have a good balance of like um should you reach out on a case-by-case -case basis see with me in the past it was like i always was reaching out i was always reaching out always reaching out and you know how you in a relationship or something and I'm not I'm just using an example because this didn't happen to me in my last situation or nothing like that but it's like you know how you're in a relationship or something and y'all don't talk maybe for like the day or like a couple hours I would be that person to be like okay do you want to talk about it now or something like that but with me like no like if you see value in me and value in this you gonna reach out and give or take I know you need a balance of both because you can't be to one extreme or the other because that's just simply unhealthy um, because at that point you just go end up with nobody because nobody's perfect and you know that you can't sit here and nobody's perfect so you can't just sit here and be like oh my god if you do this you done like no but I think that with me not choosing myself in that way in so long that I realized like okay I have to really take the time to allow myself to do that and I mean right now I'm a really good, I think I'm a pretty good judge of character, but I don't know if I'm to the extreme of it because I was to one extreme. I was to one extreme where I was like not doing it at all. And then now I'm to the extreme where I'm like, I was to one extreme where I was like, I'm going to reach out. I'm going to make sure this is good. I'm going to reach out and make sure this is good. But now I'm to the other extreme where like, I'm not reaching out. So now I have to get into a space of a good balance and do it on a case by case situation is this situation worth saving? Is this, that, and this, that? But then it also comes that space of why you can't reach out. And it's not even on no childish stuff like that. It's just honestly the truth. It's because it's like, why do, why can't you reach out? I'm so sorry. I'm not even showing y'all what colors I'm using. Y'all know I use this palette all the time. My Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Um, I have it in the, I'm just using, honestly, you really don't have to get the palette. You can just use the colors. So I've been, Above my crease, I'm using this color. And then I'm using this gray one like in my crease and a little bit on the eyelid. And then I'm also gonna go back in with this one. That's like my favorite. I feel like the burgundy always gives me like a good sultry look. So yeah, just trying to blend it out. But yeah, I have to have a good balance because you know, I can't be to one extreme or another. But I have to come with a good balance. And I feel like I said all that to say is like I've been working on setting boundaries with myself because I just never really had many boundaries. I feel like I would, when I was single or when I was like in a space where I wasn't influenced by friends, I would just have like my boundaries. Like I would have, this is what it is and this is what it wasn't is. But then when I would get like in a relationship or when I would get um, me and a person started getting close, like in a friendship and gravitating towards each other a lot more, then it would be like my boundaries would start shifting to what that person's person would need. Like, let's say you start dating somebody and they be like, okay, so if you do this is a deal breaker, if you do this is a deal breaker, if you, I don't like when my partner does this. And then let's say you get in a relationship and that person is like, everything you have that's a deal breaker, that's not a, like, they feel like it shouldn't be a deal breaker. So then you start looking in your hair and be like, okay, let me just start shifting this around because I like this person so much and want this person so much, like I'm gonna start doing it. That's why it's right now, a lot of people be wanting to lock me down and I think it's because I'm in this energy of like I'm single I want to be happy I want to be in my own energy but I think part of it is like with me I am trying to create boundaries like I'm literally trying to create boundaries so that I am keeping these same boundaries with these decisions that I'm making 
when I get around other people dating or relationships. So I've been trying to work on my boundaries and that's what it's been given. Um, but it's not hard, but it's a lot of work. And I feel like with me doing it, I also see myself having a stick in stuff. And I, I mean, I appreciate it because I feel like I'm standing up for myself finally, if that makes sense. So I don't hate it. I don't dislike it, but I do know like everybody is not going to mesh well with me now having these boundaries because they were here when I didn't have any, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm been working on that. Like even with this one friend, like she did some shit to me, like, uh, maybe like, like every six months, it's like she do something. <laughs> I promise you. And she probably can watch this video. But it's like every six months or every once in a while, she does like this thing. And I feel like I had to let myself like be like, you know what? It's okay to cut somebody off. And, and, and it's okay to also take somebody out of your immediate friend circle. My immediate friend circle is like somebody I'm going to talk to like every day. I mean, every other day, at least once a week. At least. No, my immediate friend circle, I'm going to talk to him at least twice a week. Twice to three times a week. But I, she was placed there, but then she was just like doing a lot. And I feel like, I was like, you know, I'm going to remove her out of my media friend circle. And that didn't mean we had to stop being friends. Cause I mean, I love her as a friend, but I also removed her out of my media friend circle. So it's like, if we talk, it's not no smoke. It's not no bad blood on my behalf. I mean, cause how could I have smoke with her? I don't, I mean, I could, but I don't have any. But it was like, it's okay for you to take people out your immediate friend circle. Because I know with me, baby, you be here one day and then you go next. It look a little off, I think, on the coloring because maybe the lighting over here is not as bright. But nonetheless, it's still giving. Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. I'm not going to lie. I like it, but I don't. I don't like how cool tone the brown is. I don't know if it's even showing up like that. So I don't know if y'all can relate or not. I don't know if it's becoming with age because I'm getting to that age now or what it is. But I remember at one point in time, if you was cute, like we could rock. I, I'm just talking about dating. If you was cute, we could literally rock because it was like, you cute, I'm cute. We look cute together. Like this is the vibe. You know what I mean? I don't date for looks no more. And that's not to say the people I talk to is ugly. Because, I mean, honestly, right now, the people I'm talking to are not, like, ugly. And if you're new to the channel, yes, I mingles around. Yes, I get, I get active, little baby. I am a, um, I don't want to say serial dater, but I am, I'm a date. One thing about Tay, she going to date your ass. I mean, <laughs> That sounds so bad to say. I don't want to say it like that. But one thing about me, I'm going to go on a date and I'm having a good time. That don't mean we nothing but it, baby. But I feel like I'm not dating for looks no more. Like, I'm literally looking at damn near everything but looks. And I feel like right now, if you have looks, that's like a plus. If we're going to be honest. Like, if you got some looks on you, that's a big plus. I mean, give or take, I don't want nobody out here that I'm just not attracted to at all. And it's just look hideous to me. Because, you know, all, everybody's cute to somebody. You might not be cute to me, but you're cute to somebody. But it's like, what else do you bring to the table? Do you have anything financially going on? Do you have security? Do you, do you have a career? Um, like... Do you have dreams and aspirations? Are you nice? <laughs> do you mesh well with me? Like, do you feel like that you could handle what comes with me? Like, all these little things are things now that I take in consideration that at one point, they wasn't things that I looked at, but they wasn't like in the forefront, if I'm going to be honest. And now I'm just going to take my contour powder and I'm going to use the Give Me Sun Bronzer. I like this because it gives me that glow. And it seemed like my contour got a little lost. So I'm gonna go back in with my um with my stuff. But what do you have going on? Like, and it's crazy, it's to the point where I'm not gonna say I'm very strict, but I am yeah, I'm strict. 
Like, I'll give you a chance. i even tell you some things you need to work on. Because I did that with a couple people. But after a while, if you're not performing, you got to go. You know, the way that you're doing things now, that it does take the, the dating pole. It's making it. It's like, okay, let's say you got 100 fish. And then I've got these standards and these boundaries and these these strict remarks and it's like he said it's taking it down and down and down and i'm like you're right because i'm and he was like am i okay with that and i'm like yes i know what i'm looking for it's gonna take a little longer it might not to be honest the way god be working but i'm if it is gonna take a little longer i'm willing to wait because i'd rather wait and get what i'm supposed to get and get what i deserve to get and get who i want to get versus out here just taking anything because i don't want to be lonely like i'm past that stage of my life where it's like you know how you just be talking to people just to talk to them and you talking to people because you want to be by yourself because we all been there before i feel alone i mean i'm a look let me rephrase that lonely i'm not lonely at all i am alone because i be by myself but i'm not lonely at all by any means and um i'm okay with that but i just feel like girl this dating pool Baby, me having kids is looking very 35, 36-ish <laughs> because, mm-mm, uh-uh, but no. So, I don't, I don't know. Do y'all feel the same way? Because I feel like I don't know when the shift happened because I didn't realize that the shift even happened until when I was looking at people that is cute as fuck. And I'm just like, girl, I don't care about you being cute no more. Like, that shit, I'll take the ugly nigga over you any day because your ass ain't got to put together you know what I mean and that was like that happened like a while ago but I literally am not dating for looks no more I mean but like I said you have to be some type of attractive because I mean clearly not attractive you don't have to be drop dead gorgeous like moi but you have to have some type of something of course to keep capture my attention now I ain't just gonna be out here being like anybody can get it like no that's a part of the criteria but it wasn't you know looks used to be like number one damn sure number two for sure number one or two but it ain't giving number one two no more looks is like down there with like three four right now because i'm looking at how you emotionally deal with problems i'm looking at emotionally how you interact with me other people financially what you're bringing to the table i'm looking at you Physically, I'm not your face, but I want you, well, no, physically is a part of looks as well, I guess. But I'm looking at a lot of other things before we get down to looks. Clearly, looks is something that's going to capture a, attention, but I'm definitely looking at other things now. I think it comes with age, though. And it's crazy because when I was younger, I used to always be like, I know when um, people marry people, like, I don't know why I used to think this, though. I was like, when people marry people, like, do they think their person is the best looking person in the world? Like, that's their person. Like, they think that person looks the best in the world. And it's like, no. That's not how that works. Because some people I know, not personally, but I just be watching on certain stuff. They be married to people, and they ain't that, like, they physically more attracted to the person's um, mindset and how the pe person treats them versus the actual person i mean and give or take that's you know to each his own but that's what i'm coming to realize like everybody ain't out here attracting to everybody you know hey y'all also i wanted to mention that when i do my eyes because i do do my eyes i um when i do my under eyes I use this pencil and it's the Jumbo NYX Black Pencil. Um, I need to get another one. This is what I use. Can I be honest with y'all? I've been doing makeup for a very long time. I never understood the purpose of these type of pencils. They don't twist. And then it's like, it don't look like a pencil pencil. So it's like, once this is over with, that's the end of it. Like, but sometimes I be feel like it's still stuck down at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. So I did put a little bit of mascara on the bottom, but I'm like, girl, let me stop playing myself. So 
can put some of this. Put it at the bottom like that. Make sure I get on my inner core too. And this is literally how I line my eyes. Cause somebody was like, mine's be gone by the end of the night. Girl, mine's be staying there the whole night. And it don't smear or smudge either. Y'all know I do be having a problem with my eyes watering sometimes, but I just like the way. But this don't, even my, I'm so sorry. I'm fucking this fruit up. <laughs> I feel like even with my um, eyes water, it don't really leave. So I'm going to just put some on it. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my lip. Y'all know my favorite, y'all favorite lip. With me, I use a brown liner. I used to like the NYX cappuccino one or something. I'm just so hungry. I don't know why, but. Hey, Jenna. See that? Now I have three different lippies I like to use. Redline Sky Pink. It's like a milky type of pink. I want to show you guys. So it's like a real Mickey, real milky pink. Like everybody was asking me what's my lippy and it'd be this one. Like you see how pink it is? Like it's just a milky pink. This one and this one is from Shaded by Jade, but I don't know if she even sold this one anymore, but I bought like four or five of them. So I've had them for like a while. And this one's like really white. It's like a pink, but it's a whitey pink. And then also I have this Revlon, also something that just, it doesn't even matter, but I'm gonna use this Revlon one, but it just has to be something that has a good pink consistency to it. So my subscriber sent me this one and the Lip Smack one. What I always like to do is three. I like to do a good pink one. I like to do a milky pink one and then one that's more on a whiter side. So I'm gonna show y'all. So with this one, I'm gonna put it on. Do not need too much, that's enough. And don't worry, you putting three glosses on, so you don't gotta do too much. On the Revlon one. This is my staple lippy. Some people that'd be enough, but for me, my bottom lip is not as like, like it's not as like, you know, so. So this is my staple lippy. I love this. Like it just looks so pretty, so doll like. <sighs> yes. Here he is. So let me go ahead and get into my wig now. I know that's what the girl's been waiting on. Ow. I wanted to do something different. Um, I've had these contacts for like a year. And they're really, really good contacts. I hear a lot of people talk about them. They're pretty, pretty popular. So they're TTDI contacts. And a good thing about them is they have a bunch of different colors. They also have series on there and collections. So for example, if you wanted some contacts that are more natural looking, they have them on there. They also have some ones that look really exotic. With me, I just wanted something that looked a natural, but just a little bit boom because i'm trying to give a little exotic look you know i want to give something not doing too much or whatnot so each contact actually comes individually packed and has its own little um carrying case of the lenses as well as the adapter and the spatula it's like a little tongs okay you guys so this is what i look like with the cool gray in and this is without and it pretty much lightens up my eyes really good as you guys can see these are actually really cute. I thought because they were so light that they weren't gonna actually be like good, but no, they're really actually good. This one is crystal ball brown. It's more like a hazel. It looks a lot more natural to me, I feel like. But I like this one. It makes me look like really chocolatey brown, like period. Like my absolute favorite, probably because you can tell realistically. Um, and they're the most vibrant, I feel like. This one is actually Havana Brown, which is very surprising with the name just because it doesn't give me that much brown. Um, but I still like it. So let me know what you guys think. And yeah. I know mother freaking contacts is so 2000s, but I feel like it's still a good look. I might wear these during Miami. I ain't even gonna cap you. It's giving boss bitch, period. So let me go ahead and get my outfit and my perfume because y'all know I'm not playing. Guys, so this is my final look. It ended up being really, really cute. So I ended up getting this top. 
from um, my old store. You guys remember when I had Glam Design Tear Apparel Studio? I sold this top on there, so it was like very popular on there. It's like a really cute, effortless top. If I can find a dupe on Amazon, I will definitely link it below. Then these pants, I actually got it from Jerly She. Um, I love these pants just because they have the accenting on the booty part, so I thought that was like a real cute, like, cool little vibe of pulling the whites in together, so that's kind of like where I went with the white thing. I had these heels for so long, not for sure exactly where um, they came from. I can't remember at the top of my head, but I will link them in the bio, so if you guys are interested. And then I have this white bag from Zara. Just a cute little simple bag, not doing too much. And then I got some rhinestone hoops in on um, their silver, as well as my Robex, and it's just down and bust out. So this is the look. This is how the vibe is. So you guys let me know what you think. A cute little night outfit, you know, just vibing with your girls and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna take some pictures tonight. Let you guys know what they look like and show them to you. I feel like I'm really giving like big Selena vibes just because my hair and the top, but I really, really like it. I think it looks really good. My perfume or my scent of choice tonight will be Love and Black by Creed. I love this because it has like a really, really good florally smell. It smells like really lightweight and it's long lasting. I know they have Love and White as well, but Love and Black is like my favorite. I love it. I actually bought it for a gift for somebody else and I ended up keeping it for myself. So, so if you guys are interested in more videos like this, definitely comment below and let me know. Cause I really enjoy doing this. I always do get ready with me, but I never do like the finished looks. So I like the way that this turned out and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in my next video.